All right, guys, Greenbird here. Let's put some notches in this little preform that I made yesterday. It's not quite as good as the other one that I posted, but it's still pretty thin, and I'm excited to do something with it. So <clears throat> let's start by grinding. And I'm not going to grind the whole thing. It's pretty ground off from when I finished it last time. I'm not going to cut myself. Just going to grind where I think I may have a work surface. Probably come back and grind again. I don't know why it is extremely noisy today. It's like I live in a next to an Air Force base or something. But um, I'm going to take my larger horseshoe nail. And what I've been doing a little bit differently, I think I know why my, my notches have been all wonky, is because I usually notch like this and really hard to keep it straight you know you're either going up or down and then pretty hard to match on the other side so I'm gonna do what I see a lot of other people doing I think Dave does it I've seen uh, a few other people do it um, I think Chuck does it Charles does it so it seems to have worked for me and I know a lot of people do it is I'm just gonna come in real, right flat right about where I want my first notch I tend to notch a little bit lower than some other people I don't know if it's a preference or if that's just what I've gotten used to but starter notch. Same thing on the other side. And that's about as deep as I like to go before I flip it over on the other side. That way if I get a stall, at least they end up being somewhat symmetrical or, you know, have the same depth of the notch. Although I have a diamond so I mean a diamond uh, file and now that these points have gotten thinner, I haven't really noticed a problem with stalling notches. Probably should not say that, should I? It'll pop straight down. See, I'm already tempted to do that. I'm trying to work on keeping my hand as flat as I can. Digging it in there straight. So I would say those notches are pretty even. But the camera always gives me more feedback than my eyes. I could look at this after I get done recording and realize it's terrible. I don't think it is though. Oops, there we go. Trying to work on that. That's a little uncomfortable for me. Maybe I'll bring it down a little bit. Yeah, so that technique really helps getting the straight notches. I mean, sometimes you intentionally want those angled notches, but that's not what I'm looking for today. Okay. I crushed that a little bit, but I did do that on purpose because my notch was starting to get a little bit of an angle to it. And I may just stop there. Do some touch up. Anything that doesn't want to be there is just going to come off anyway. Uh, there we go. These are going to be some deep notches. Yeah, I think we're going to leave it right like that. Ooh, I can already see... So much needs to be adjusted. That one was that one was deeper. One of them was not deeper. One of them was wider than the other one, which is kind of weird. One of them still is kind of wider.
Got to figure out which end needs to come with the top needs to come up or the bottom needs to come down. I think the bottom needs to come down. A lot easier to take stone off than it is to put it back on. I'm going to clean up this base a little bit. Again, sorry for the noise. It's so noisy right here now. Alright, not perfect notches, but I'm just going to stop messing with it before I destroy the whole thing. So again, this is uh, Davis Creek Green Obsidian. This is the first time I've worked it, but I can't imagine that that has anything to do with any of the mistakes I've made because I've, I've never really noticed the difference between working different types of obsidian. You know, maybe something, that, maybe something really lacy with a lot of textures might, might be different to work than, you know, the regular obsidians, but if you think that's the case, let me know. Boy, I'm so tempted to finish those notches a little bit more, but I think this is probably as good as I'm going to get without making it worse. All right. So if there's anybody out there that would like to trade this point for a pair of socks, I really need one. All right, guys. Green bird out. Be good.